I'm finally touring my home video production studio that I've been shooting videos in for the past five months or so. I originally teased the kind of backdrop of this in like November when I unboxed my new camera that we're shooting on and that I've been shooting with ever since, and then I never made the tour. I've been too busy using the studio and abusing it and making it messy as can be while I use it to actually take the time to clean it up and tour it. But I'm about to rehaul a couple things, so I want to make sure I have video like scrapbook of how it is right now so I can see how it grows. So this is the roughly quarter one 2017 studio tour for me, and then we'll have another update probably in quarter three or something if things don't change too radically between now and then. I like to make sure everything is working and functional before I do a tour, and that's why they kind of get delayed. We're in a second bedroom in our apartment here, and you may be noticing that there are no computers. The office is now separate from the studio. That is how it worked out in this new space, and it's actually worked out quite nice because there's no server or computer fan noise in the place that I'm trying to record most of my videos. It's pretty cool. But the idea that started it all was just a super rough, nonsensical drawing that I sent my dad and asked if, he could, if we could build this, and despite probably having no idea what I really wanted, he said yes. And so we built a big, giant workbench that has been serving me so ridiculously well. First and foremost, I wanted it to be tall. I can't stand having to bend over short tables and things like that to do my work. I do a lot of tinkering, typing, writing, video planning. I have a big calendar here I use, so I wanted something that I could just walk up to and stand on. And this is like the perfect height. And then up above, we built a big pegboard setup that goes all the way pretty much to the ceiling that has all the main kinds of cables that I would regularly need to grab and go. Audio cables, power cables, HDMI, USB, display port, some networking stuff, all ready to go, as well as whatever tools I might need to, you know, tinker and build stuff on the go for certain video projects. I also have whatever laptop I'm using at the table at the time. I usually have the charger handy. Up on the desk, or on the workbench, we have a desk mat finally, so I don't have to keep putting my arms on the rough MDF that the base is made out of. And then we've got my Amazon Echo, charging stations, my giant stack of tape and label maker, everything just where I need it so that whenever I'm working on a video project or something, everything is grab and go, super handy. What I love most though, which is probably my favorite part of the studio, is the shelving we built underneath, which again, these are just like two by sixes and MDF and we built huge deep and hefty shelves like this thing is as sturdy as can be i've bolted it through to the wall into studs it's not going anywhere and this is like my bulk storage for the entire studio i've got and they're all labeled i've got boxes with some old video gear from like the old studio that sometimes i need to grab and reference older pc hardware notepads for video ideas i've got extra computers my old windows 98 computer project i'm working on some old ps3s vcrs pokemon tins i've got like everything product boxes i'm reviewing and then I even have a giant box full of video bulbs, all the way completely full. And I even have a Philips Hue one right here. Uh, as I am moving away from the CFL bulb style lighting to more LED, which keeps it cooler and takes up a lot less space. So now I have a ton of bulbs that I need to make sure don't get shattered all you know, at once. In the corner, we just mainly have some computer cases stacked up. I'd love to say that these are servers that are actually running to provide some functionality for the studio, but no, they're just empty cases right now. At some point, I would love to have something here that integrates into the workstation and is handy for me, but I don't. Just didn't work out that way. Um, I've got some little organizer drawers here for some tiny... Oh, my label fell off. That's cool. Um, for audio adapters, I've got like tripod mount adapters, cable management stuff, charging ports, a bunch of extra flash drives, things like that. Uh, got a nice little decorative element because I, I do shoot some videos with this as a backdrop. So I've got my massive collection of lanyards. I love lanyards and there's awesome some also some little name tags and stuff from conventions we've been to, things like that. Uh, but this moves to the first part of the studio that's really gonna change soon. So this is my main, I always wanted an unboxing station. I wanted to be like unbox therapy and have a dedicated se section where I could unbox stuff, do Pokemon card openings and things like that. And this is a basic green screen stand or just a general backdrop stand. It's like $15 off Amazon, cheap piece of crap, but it's tall. It does its job. This is what held the giant sound foam wall I had at the old studio, which was atrocious compared to these. Uh, these are producer's choice sound blankets, which do a lot better job at reducing sound. I used it to mount two LED panels that shine down onto the table, and then I've got another mount for my camera. And then I can shoot straight down and do unboxings, and it is pretty freaking cool. This is just another table element. We've 
I've pretty much always built all my tables for my desks and things like that. So this was an element that was going to be part of the desk setup in the office, which you'll see in a future video. Uh, but it didn't end up fitting. So I brought it up here and it was the perfect unboxing table. Um, but this is actually going to be used for its original purpose pretty soon, which is for a backdrop stand, but future upgrades. Got some basic, uh, these are from Amazon, little desk lights that have my Philips Hue bulbs inside for doing sexy colored light B-roll shots. Another producer's choice sound blanket just to reduce the sound when I'm doing unboxings. But under here, I have all of the backdrops that I do for my, you know, table shot B-roll. Because the table underneath here is pretty beat up. Uh, the paint, the paint stick, stuck to stuff pretty quickly, so the table's pretty ugly. So I've got some poster boards, some foam core, little placemats, and all that kind of thing that I need to keep flat and undamaged for putting products on. And then I can just slide that back underneath and never have to think about it. Pretty cool. This is arguably my second favorite part of the studio, which is uh, a big metal shelf that I picked up when I was just desperate to get products up off the floor when we were living at the old apartment because it was so packed full whenever I kept getting product boxes and everything. And so I've repurposed it here as a pretty nice, not just like a display shelf, but it's really functional. Uh, the top stuff is mostly just product boxes and things like that I'm keeping out of the way. This was a special loot crate box that I now keep some stuff in, computer memory and whatnot. Got all my clamps and video mounts and stuff hanging off the side. I think it works pretty well. The top shelf is for mainly camera and audio gear. So I've got my camera bodies, my old T3i, my G7 would go here, but we're filming on it now. Some point and shoots that I use, wireless mics, my Minolta film camera that I've been really loving using recently, an old Nikon FM2 that I'm going to be selling soon, so on. This is more of my lens section, so all of my lenses that I currently own. I don't own a ton, but got some nice old manual lenses here. And then charging station. These Watson double camera chargers, these are for my G7 batteries. This thing is freaking amazing. Not sponsored, but I do recommend. And then below turns into both functional, like... That sometimes happens. This is my box of microphones, of microphones that I've reviewed recently or are reviewing. Uh, this is my little slide-out box of little stuff that I use quite regularly, like my mini audio recorder and little pointer for my teleprompter and so on. Very handy to just have it right there, slide out. Uh, this is an entire box of PCI Express cards. So capture cards, network cards, sound cards. I don't have anywhere else to store them, so they go here for right now. Hopefully that doesn't make too many of you cringe. And then we start to reach what I consider to be review product hell. These bottom two shelves are a bunch of little products that I bought whenever I've had a ton of money or it was like a Black Friday sale or something, little cheap Amazon stuff, then I thought, I'll review that soon. I've had some of them for over a year. I've still not reviewed them. Some of them were actually sent to me for free to review that I've just not gotten to. One day, but I haven't got there yet. So that just reminds me of all the impending work that I have to do at some point. Uh, then we start to see my new headphone wall mounts. Uh, these were printed up, 3D printed by Laser Lord. Uh, you can go check out his YouTube channel. He does some 3D printing stuff, and they've been serving me pretty freaking awesome. I've got a couple mounts here and then I've got one more by the closet I'll show you in a bit. And then we've, I've just, I've basically just screwed these giant producer's choice sound blankets onto the wall. So actually behind this one is the main window for the bedroom. I didn't want the confusing natural light. I didn't want the sound coming through. Blocks sound does a perfect job. Now you can already see the issue in the floor here. I have giant light box. This is my giant Amazon basics tripod with my teleprompter rig. Uh, this is a teleprompter that uses my Microsoft Surface to, and then PowerPoint slides to teleprompt, and then the backdrop to keep light from leaking in. This is huge. This is obnoxious. It takes forever to set up, especially since I don't have a spare camera that I can leave in here. I've just like, I've loved having a teleprompter, but I've, hate, I've hated having to deal with this and having like, this takes up like the core room in this room. And so I'm gonna be switching to a smaller solution soon. But this is what I've been using since January, 2016 been pretty nice. Uh, Anthony Smith actually donated the funds for this back then and greatly appreciated. Super happy to be moving on though. Uh, I'm also moving away from the big giant light boxes. These have served me well, but they're cheap. They don't really work very well anymore. I've had to tape up the handles. Moving on to better stuff from this as well. We've got my portable vo vocal booth, which I don't really need to use as much these days, but it's pretty handy. It's currently running my Audio-Technica AT2020 which is a beautiful microphone for the price. 
Um, but I still keep it handy in case I just want, like, sometimes I still do paid voiceover gigs in which I need, like, as crystal clean quality as possible. So I'll come up here and record this into my audio recorder. Back here we have some video reflectors, a little tri foam board backdrop thing I've made, my video slider, and then an actual bookshelf, the only actual like bookshelf in the entire apartment, but has all of our books. I've got uh, Dungeons and Dragons manuals, computer books, game manuals, businessy entrepreneurial stuff, Game of Thrones, and then my fiance's books got shoved on the bottom shelf. Sorry. Uh, but I've also got binders of like Pokemon cards and things like that. Uh, my small collection of laser discs and vinyl. And the shelves, even though I originally said these shelves would not become storage for anything other than books, they now hold my, my massive 2.5 inch hard drive collection, my massive, or my tiny normal hard drive collection. And then this sits here to remind me that at some point in life, I want a Gorillapod. I got this from a used like reseller place and it didn't have the actual mounting plate and I've never been able to find it. So it just kind of sits here to remind me at some point that I would like to buy like a, a one I can actually use one day. And then up here is a bunch of Pokemon card stuff and product boxes and so on. These shelves are fun. These shelves fell down on me the night after I hung them and sent an entire room full of stuff crashing down and broke a few things. So that was fun. Uh, but we hung these shelves pretty quickly after we were hanging shelves throughout the rest of the apartment. And so I actually use it as storage for the rest of my cables. I have so many cables, I need like five different me methods of storing them. So I've got them labeled here. This is all the USB cables I might need anytime soon. We've got networking stuff, so Ethernet cables. I've got a router, so on. Audio cables up in this box. This is actually a tub of Legos. Uh, video cables, HDMI, DVI, so on. And then power bricks and power cables. And then this is my turntable that does sit here. It's actually connected via Bluetooth to my Amazon Echo. So all I got to do is pop a record on and play it. It's kind of handy. Down here, you might be wondering what the hell this is. This is actually a, uh, an audio gear rack. It's currently empty because I can't afford any audio gear. Uh, but at some point, my plan is to load it up with a few things. That way, whenever we're doing on-camera videos like this, the audio that goes in can automatically get processed and recorded here. And I don't have to do any editing in production, which would save me a ton of time. And then I could run my vocal booth to it as well. Haven't reached that point, but I got the rack for free from a colleague, and so I just wanted to hold on to it till I can get that set up. That is a giant foam piece that's shipped with my sponsored computer build that I had to screw into the wall because the adhesive strips wouldn't actually hold up the weight. And then my cat got a hold of it, but I figured it might do some nice sound dampening for echoes between the shelf and the wall. Out of sight, doesn't really matter. We're almost done. This has been a long, crazy studio This is or tour. This is part of why I've put it off for so long. This is the last part of the stu studio. And then, like I said, the office tour will be separate. Uh, so this giant ass thing, this is, I don't even know how old it is. I don't think I have a year on it. Yeah, there's not a year on it. This is a an O'Connor Model 50 fluid video tripod head. Now, this is meant for big, giant 50 pound. That's why it's called the Model 50 uh, production cameras. But since my, I, I've only used cheap fluid heads and my G7 weighs like nothing, so it's super shaky. Uh, I borrowed it from a colleague who's going to resell it at some point and just added a basa, basic Arca Swiss uh, tripod clamp to it so I can mount my camera on it and the movement on it is like as fluid as can be. And since it weighs so much, I went ahead and threw my sandbags on there just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, it's like super rock solid, super fluid. I get some really cool shots with it, but it's pretty limited. I'll have a dedicated video on that coming up though. It also takes up a ridiculous amount of space. So if the bottom two shelves on the metal shelf rack was uh, product review hell, this is the product review graveyard. As while there are a few things I haven't yet reviewed stuck in here, these are all the product boxes that I can't get rid of yet or products that I've already reviewed and don't want to or can't get rid of yet. Get rid of yet. Just kind of thrown up in there and occasionally falls back out. Um, but I've got a ton of stuff, my camera boxes, speaker boxes. I do have an entire box full of other cables that at some point I'll be like, oh, I need that one cable and have to dig out, so that'll suck. Uh, but mainly just products that I've already reviewed. I've got my on-video wardrobe, my shirts that I usually swap out on video. Sometimes I don't bother changing them, so I only wear the same shirt every video. And So you probably haven't seen half these shirts recently, but they're there. Uh, I've got camera bags. My entire collection of tripods and monopods is just kind of shoved in here. I have an entire tote full of keyboards, mostly sent for review, but 
none of them I really want to get rid of, so they're just there. And then my original wall of headphone hangers. These are all headsets that I've had for review. They were also in a giant tote, and so I commissioned Laser Lord to print, 3D print up these wall mounts, and they work great. Like, this is freaking awesome. Like, I love this. This is awesome. And now I have, like, three different sections of it. Shows how many headsets I have, and, like, I only have room to add one more pair of headphones to my collection at the moment, but I thought it was pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. I have, oh yeah, here's my other thing of cables, other stuff that I may need to grab and go that it's not super organized, but keeps it within arm's reach. I've got the Mod Mic 5, Mod Mic 4, I've got an iPhone, <laughs> all kinds of stuff in there, but super handy. And then I don't really keep anything back here, just a little light tint for shooting video. And then I mainly rely on the Producer's Choice sound blankets, which block sound, and I'll have a dedicated video on them, don't worry. Uh, but for areas where I can't hang those, I do still use the sound foam tiles as just kind of, they reduce the sound waves bouncing off of everything. Uh, but that's pretty much it. This is my new video studio that I've been using for end of 2016, all of 2017 so far. And this is how I work, pretty much. Uh, like I said, I will be making some changes to it, and I have some products I need to review that I'll integrate into the studio. But I wanted to show you what I've been using so far. So... If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Get subscribed. Go check out our sponsor, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy.com slash EposVox, I believe. If not, link in the description down below. You'll see it on screen. All that jazz. I've talked about it plenty of times. It's a browser extension that I rely on heavily to enhance your YouTube workflow and experience. It's freaking fantastic. Go check it out. Otherwise, subscribe for more awesome tech videos, and I'll see you in the next one.